Have you ever wanted a body of steel, like Wolverine or Colossus from the X-Men? What about a brain filled with iron? That sounds really cool, right? Well, not all metal in the head is equal in usefulness. Let me explain. This is Carter. He loves watching SpongeBob and is a huge fan of the 49ers. He was born with classic pantothenate kinase associated neurodegeneration. Pfft, what a mouthful. We'll stick with the nickname Pecan for short. Pecan is a sneaky neurological disorder that disguises itself as cerebral palsy in that there is a problem balancing, muscle stiffness, and people may have trouble performing simple tasks like grabbing a cup of water to drink. But Pecan does some pretty scary things. Where cerebral palsy is caused by brain damage and can be treated with the help of doctors and medications, Pecan is a buildup of iron in the crevices of the brain that you can see in MRI scans. In fact, doctors can check specifically for Pecan if the iron buildup in the brain looks like a pair of eyes on a tiger. Now that iron in the brain may sound like a sweet deal. Not only do you get confirmation that you're not smooth brain, but you get a strength check against brain injuries. But Pecan doesn't work like that at all. See, all that iron in the brain causes a lot of problems. It messes with the connectivity of neurons that are responsible for movement, thoughts, and memory. In severe cases, that iron buildup can cause something called dystonic storms. Dystonic storms are episodes of massive muscle contractions caused by repetitive movements. And while it may look like they're just pretending to be drunk giraffes with the doctor, it's not fun because dystonic storms cause more than arms flailing around. Kids going through dystonic storms also have trouble breathing, rapid heartbeats, and can sometimes look like a seizure and is just as dangerous. But don't worry too much. Professionals are learning more and more about pecan every day because pecan is a one in one million disorder. There are researchers and doctors doing everything it takes to make people like Carter feel so much better. <coughs> you may have heard or seen people getting Botox to reduce the signs of aging, but these lovely researchers found out that Botox also helps keep dystonic storms at bay by relaxing and paralyzing the same muscles that go spastic during a dystonic storm. But Botox is a symptomatic treatment and does not take care of the buildup of iron in the brain. It's like drinking cough syrup for a sore throat, but is unable to treat the common cold. Right now, there is no known treatment for dissolving the buildup of iron in the brain safely, which is the source of Carter's dystonic storms. But Carter and other kids like him are part of a study group searching for a cure. And while it may take time to find it, there are doctors, researchers, parents, and people like you doing everything they can to learn more about Pecan and to help people like Carter. Thank you for watching.